everybody, welcome back to another review and today we're going to be taking a look at the Madeline Hatter doll from Ever After High's Epic Winter. And I'm so excited because this is Maddie's first doll debuting her new face sculpt. Isn't she just the cutest? So here is her packaging, pretty much the same as the rest of the Epic Winter dolls. And here is a bag, so it explains a little synopsis of the movie and a little bit about how Maddie is feeling about winter. And ta-da, we're back with Maddie out of the box. So first up, she comes with her little story card. The picture of her and her purpley rose and on the bag it explains a little about the roses and the wonders and the stuff so you guys can pause and read it if you'd like and she also comes with a ring out of all the rings i think hers is my favorite because i love this color and has a plastic dome with a purple little flower in the middle all right moving on to maddie herself so first up her new face sculpt it is so cute i think if anyone deserves a new face sculpt it's maddie because she is well, mad. <laughs> and I think so the smile really suits her. I think they should have gone with the smile for her since the beginning. Expresses her character a lot more than her original face did. So starting from the top, she has her little top hat. So it's like a fur trim here with a little bow. Her hair is actually quite soft. Um, her head is hard, so there's probably glue inside, but I don't feel on her hair yet. So um, she has her same color eyes, some kind of like a purple lavender shade of lipstick, and a little bit of gold eye makeup going on there as well. And moving on to her outfit, instead uh, of on the sleeves, she has her fur trim on her shoulders, and she has like a little schoolgirl kind of collar here. I really love that. And then she has, of course, her gloves, because what is Maddie without her gloves? And her pattern is really cute. It has a mixture of mint, uh, green, blues, and with these purple snowflakes and teapots going around. <laughs> I really love the teapots there and has like little stars there as well. And her fur trim at the end of her skirt completes her outfit. It's very soft, goes all the way around. She does have sculpted leggings, they're white, the same pattern as the rest of the dolls. And she does have a belt right here, purple belt with the little flower in the middle. It's like a really vaguely sculpted snowflakes going around the side. And she has her purse as well. Her boots are really nice, has buckle details here, some stitching details. At the same time, it features this crystalline uh, jagged corners as well. I really love that. It looks really sparkly if you move it under certain lighting. And her heels, again, features a crystalline details from her purse, but they're actually painted like they're supposed to be. I think her purse is actually supposed to be painted as well but they are um, not. So yeah, she does not come with a stand by the way. This is a stand that I have been using from another doll. All right, now let's look at Maddie in comparison with her original Wave 1 face. So there the new uh, heads are slightly smaller, not as round and big as the original one. And I think her eye color changed a little bit as well. But I actually prefer the original eye color, which is brighter, so I kind of prefer this. But at the same time, I prefer the smile. So for her eyes, I think I prefer the original, but I really prefer the smile and the lips from her A new one. So maybe they could like mix this. Eyes from this, lips from this, done. So overall, I think Maddie is incredibly cute. I don't have anything negative to say about her, actually. Um, she didn't seem to lose any accessories at all because she never had a um, necklace in her artwork nor in her prototype, but I do think she lost her cuffs. I think she was supposed to have cuffs around her gloves, but aside from that, I don't have anything negative to say about her, and I think for the first time for an epic winter doll, I would give her an actual 5 out of 5 because I have been giving all of them 4 out of 4s, uh, 4 out of 5s because they're some some disappointment one way or another but for her I think she is really fantastic so she gets a 5 out of 5 yay for the crazies so I think that wraps up my review on the Ever of Thai Epic Winter Madeline Hatter doll. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the review. And let me know your thoughts in the comments down below as well. You can also check out my Instagram at DisneyBoy21. And of course, check out my reviews on the other Epic Winter dolls right here on my channel. So, so make sure you click that subscribe button to stay tuned for more videos. But right now, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all soon in my next video. Bye!